How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I'm going to be explaining how to earn unlimited packs at least until May 7th. So let's go ahead and get right into it. This method is very easy to do and is probably the best thing for no money spent players because technically you can also earn unlimited stubs by doing this method until May 7th. So what you're going to do is go into the single player modes, you're going to go into showdown and select the first inning showdown. Once you enter, it costs 500 stubs to enter. So keep that in mind that this also expires May 7th at 1 p.m. But if you skip the first five moments, and I'm going to show you how to do that, if you skip the first five moments, you can beat this first stage of the showdown, which gives you 500 stubs back and a free pack. So this is exactly how you earn unlimited packs and unlimited stubs, because not only you get your stubs back, but you can sell the players that you get out of the pack for unlimited stubs essentially so how you skip the first five moments would be by entering the moment and then quitting out of it you will do that five times and then enter that first showdown boss now you have to complete that showdown boss but there are a couple tricks and tips that i want to recommend when doing so it's very easy to complete now that you see that i skipped the first five moments by entering them quitting out you will receive a better luck next time menu, but continue on with your run to this very first showdown. Now here we're facing Nathan Evaldi. We have the bases loaded with nine outs left and even a beginner could complete this. All you have to do is just put the ball in play. Uh, you wanna try to mix your lineup up to put your best hitter at the top of your order. In order to do this, I think that that would be a good tip as well and also your number two hitter right if it starts you off with the bases juiced and your leadoff hitter then put your best two hitters at the top and you should be able to drive in at least three runs with nine outs remaining now this is the way to earn unlimited packs unlimited stubs and it takes about five minutes to complete this method and doing so you can earn 10 plus packs in an hour right 12 packs per hour and you earn some xp along with your stubs back so this is probably the best thing to do for no money spent players. I know I've said that a couple of times, but I wanted to really explain exactly what to do for beginners, for everybody involved. And once again, this is only valid until May 7th at 1 p.m. Now, when I opened this pack, I got another server error. And when I clipped it, I was unable to clip the fact that I pulled a gold Eugenio Suarez card. What I would re recommend doing with your unlimited stubs is purchasing these Roberto Clemente 85 overall diamond cards that are limited time in the pack store until April 26th. Now this is a free card, obviously. Everybody can earn one for free by opening up that pack, but it also quick sells for 5,000 stubs. So if you buy up a bunch of these, you have no risk in losing stubs. You only have the potential to increase your stubs, let's say if there was a stub sale, right? 50% off stubs, all the cards in the marketplace should technically rise in price. Now, maybe not necessarily this card because everybody can get them, but at that time, he probably wouldn't be available in the pack store anymore. So his price might go up because that might be the only Roberto Clemente card currently available. Now, I made a video talking about this already, but I want to kind of give you my thoughts on what to do with your unlimited packs and unlimited stubs. If you're not sure, you know, which players to buy, if you already have a pretty good team, if you already have the collections done, of course, I mean, I've stashed away about 200K stubs into those Roberto Clementes. I showed a screenshot of 36 of them. I actually own about 40 or 41 of them because I'm looking to sell off a bunch of those cards later on. There could be a big collection. There could be stub sales. There could be flash sales. I'm not exactly sure, but I am pretty sure that you'll only be able to get that 85 overall Roberto Clemente for the next couple of days. That will expire in the pack store on April 26th. But anyway, I wanted to kind of go through some gameplay here to wrap up this video. I always want to try and include some ranked seasons highlights or at least some type of online experience. And here we're trying out a couple new cards. This opponent has Frank Tanana. I'm also using Frank Tanana in his debut. And I think that he's going to be extremely good, especially on Hall of Fame and Legend. But on All-Star or any difficulty lower than that, he's probably going to play a lot like other pitchers in the game. I've noticed already with the hitting engine that it's extremely difficult to pitch on these lower difficulties and really everybody is hittable 
regardless if you have, you know, some of the best pitchers in the entire game. So with that being said, I did blue screen out of the remaining games in this video, right? I'm going to get the loss here, but it doesn't matter. I'm having so much fun with the gameplay and I'm having so much fun paralleling these cards. Even when I get that blue screen error message, it still tallies up my stats. So that's really all I'm focused on. Um, but I also wanted to talk about a tip here. If somebody's trying to steal a base against you, I, I threw somebody out already and then there the opponent was trying to steal once again. So it kind of reminded me on a previous video that I've made on how to throw base runners out if they're trying to steal. That video is still valid from a couple years ago. It still is the same type of mechanic in MLB The Show 21. Basically, as the pitch is coming in, you hold down whichever base you're trying to throw to, right? If he's stealing second, you would press triangle or the Y button. If he's stealing third, you would press square or the X button. And you tap it as the pitch is coming in, and then you, you hit it again once you get that catcher's throwing meter. Now, I know I definitely explained it a little bit better in that other video. So if you're curious about that, type in on YouTube, college lefty catcher's throwing tutorial or college lefty catcher's throwing meter, and it should pop up. Um, but that's really the, another piece of advice. If you're looking for any video specifically from me, if you type in college lefty and then something after it, the video should pop up. If you're looking for some specific player or some specific tip, that is something that I highly recommend. But for the remaining portion of this video, I'll go ahead and mute myself. We'll just go through some of this gameplay and I'll take you through some highlights. We're playing here at Coors Field and this ball, uh, this field also has very high elevation. So with that being said, lots of moonshots. Uh, I also disconnected from this game. I apologize to all the opponents that I play when that happens. I really have no control over it. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm College Lefty, and I hope you enjoy your unlimited packs, unlimited stubs. Peace out. Looking up is the center fielder. Still going back. Gone into the home bull. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Now, Canna smacks one to left. Lots of carry on this one. Into the bleachers and gone. That's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the There's a swing and a ball hit in the air and a ball that he got every stitch of as that one, without a doubt, is gone. Oh, there it goes. In the air to left center, and you can forget about this one. Back-to-back -back home runs. This is Bo Bichette. He was able to plate two with a base hit in his first appearance. Swing, and he puts a charge into this one. High and deep, and you can't forget about it. This ball is gone. First pitch of the A-B on its way. Swung on, and this ball is absolutely crushed. Forget about it. Over the bleachers and onto the concourse. Count full to three and two. Then the runners are going to be off to the races. Oh, this ball is hammered out to deep center field. Into the second deck and gone. To the plate now, Jackie Robinson. Jackie Robinson. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. The relay. And the runner scores Got all him. the way from first. One ball, one strike. Two out, nobody on. That gets down, and the inning continues. Running hard, he's digging for second. 